shiplap. It was made famous by Chip and Joanna Gaines. Here's the shiplap room. So I wanted to add the shiplap here. Yeah. White shiplap on the wall. <gasps> Look at the shiplap. I want to get shiplap. 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 While it looks really nice, it also serves a very practical function. Stick around and I'll tell you all about it. While shiplap may seem like a more recent fad, it's actually been around for ages and was, in the past, used to create watertight seals on ships, which is where we get the ship part of the shiplap name. The lap part of the name comes from the fact that shiplap is made by creating what is called a lap joint, where two notched boards are overlapped. The gap between those boards is what gives the shiplap its distinctive look. But what is the point of shiplap beyond, of course, making the HGTV crowd swoon? I love this. Shiplap serves a very practical purpose, and in addition to being used in shipbuilding, it's been used for sheathing and the siding of homes and barns for hundreds of years. The reason why has to do with the fact that wood moves. It expands and contracts with the heat and cold and changes in humidity, and wood that is exposed to the elements can have an even more extreme movement. Think of a wooden fence if you've ever seen one built or built one yourself. When you first put up the slats, they're tied against each other with no spaces in between. But as the sun dries the wood, it shrinks and then you have gaps between the slats. That won't work for a building that needs to be protected from the wind and weather, and that's where we get shiplap. The overlapping wood allows for the wood to expand and contract while still keeping the building sealed. Here's an example of true shiplap that I made for my kid's playhouse. You start with boards. They generally tend to be wide boards. These boards here I think are about eight inches wide. The way I'm gonna make that lap joint is by using this router to cut each side of the board. Now if you look here, the lap is alternating on one side or the other. And that allows you to put these together like a puzzle piece. Once you have that lap created, you want to screw or nail those boards up. And once they're fastened, you can paint it or do whatever you need to with it. And over time, that gap may grow or shrink depending upon the weather or the humidity changes or the heat of the sun. But the inside of that building or shed or playhouse or whatever it is you're making is going to stay tight. But there's also another kind of shiplap. This is shiplap that's actually fake. It's used to get the look of shiplap without really any of the function. The way that people do it is by cutting strips out of thin sheets of plywood, something like a quarter inch plywood. Then as you glue or nail each piece into the wall, you use a spacer like a nickel to give you the distinctive uniform shiplap gap. Now here's the thing, it's not true shiplap. We call it shiplap, but it really isn't because it doesn't have that joint, doesn't have that overlap, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Real shiplap isn't really practical indoors anyway. While there can be some temperature and humidity changes indoors, the changes are not extreme and this faux shiplap works just fine. And it looks good too, and no one has to know that it isn't the real thing. So what do you guys think? Do you like shiplap? Have you put some up in your own home? Or is this a fad that you think is already on the way out? Leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out one of these other great videos and we'll see you in the next one.